So that's the automatic transfer switch. You're gonna simulate an auto or a power failure. Yep. All right, okay. So we'll make sure we got the 10 seconds here. Okay, now my house is dead, right? Five, six, seven, eight, about nine seconds. Wow. So my house is powered back up now. Yep. Cool. And the AC manual transfer switch. So, you know, in the summertime, you want to run on the generator. Right now it's on utility. All you're going to do is flip it to the generator. Oh. I was wondering what that big old thing was. Yeah. It keeps, just it puts them in. Keeps it from back feeding on gotcha. the grid. Gotcha. Yeah. And that's where we want it right, right now. On generator. Because this is on. Oh. Just like a normal breaker. Uh, oh, I see. Because it says on right yeah. there. And then this All right. says on. So that's on generator. Alright, we'll go back. Back will be to yeah, utility. That's DZ. Which we should probably just leave it there. Yeah. Yeah. And the trip off of trips, it'll go. Yeah. It'll be a little red. Alright. Uh, a little red in the window. You put that on her? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> I was thinking about doing the same thing. Because you saw I put the labels on here. Yeah, I had to cover this one a little bit. Oh. Uh, Sorry. You can feel free to take these off after the inspections. I mean, it's it's self-explanatory that there's a generator. Well, really, that right there would be the most. Yeah. That's going to notify someone that there's a generator. They don't need to have the, the location. Right. Because, well, it's right there. Yeah, exactly. If they can't find it, they're stupid. <laughs> right. <laughs> Who's that? I didn't say. Yeah. So this is... Oh. It's a little spring loaded. So we'll flip this back, and it takes about, like I was telling you, about three minutes. Okay. And it's just making sure that the power's not going off, on, off, on, so the generator's not going off, on, off, on. So once it's solid three minutes of clean power, it'll transfer back to the grid and the unit shuts down. Okay. You can feel free to test it like that whenever you want, you know. The weekly exercise, I know we didn't talk about it. You, you set it up for Mondays at 10 a.m. If that's not good for you, I can change it. Uh, how about 1 p.m.? 1 on Mondays? Yeah. Sure. Is that all right? Yeah. As soon as this transfers back, Brad's going to disconnect that gas line. He's going to shut the shut off off at the tap point. He's going to get that pressure gauge all hooked up. Oh, okay. Um, while he's doing that, I'm going to go do the paperwork, and then we'll... Uh, We'll finish up, do the warranty, the payment, and I can answer any questions, show okay. you what you need to know out there. Alright. You find anything about the Wi-Fi? I uh, no. Okay. So this little display kind of shows what's going on. Okay. Uh, right now it shows that you're being your house is being fed from utility. When okay. you lose power, that disappears. Okay. The generator light comes on and transfers in real time. Okay. Um, you've got three main buttons, off, auto, and run. Okay. Uh, auto is what you always want to be in. Yep. It's automatically going to do its thing. Uh, we are going to turn it off though because of the pressure test. And let's uh, kind of give you a little rundown. I'm going to go through and change the time. So this is just the enter button. These are scroll up and down. Okay. And really the only thing you'd need to do would be like to change the date or the time or. Okay. Um, there's not a whole lot to change because it's all preset. Pretty self-intuitive, actually. Genset system. We're going to scroll down to exercise. Go to the one. PM. And June 25th is 19. 25 is a Monday, so we are all set. Unload at full speed. There we go. Got your main breaker right here. And that that's not gonna trip unless someone cuts the hard line while it's running. It's just uh That's the breaker for this. It. Yep, that's the output voltage. From the, yep. Yeah. For the generator. Uh, the battery charger is built into the controller, but 
Uh, the circuit also powers up this plug, which is for the carburetor heater. Okay. That's already done. Um, I think I told you yesterday, but I'll mention it again. The the first three years is just going to be oil changes. Gotcha. Uh, so it's it is annual, or if you get 150 hours of operation, whichever occurs first. All right. Uh, by year number three, you're going to want to change the battery and the spark plugs. That's all in the manual. Yep. Okay. Yep. And then the uh, this is the air filter. I'll you know, just check this every probably once a year, but honestly, we don't. <laughs> We really don't have to change them too much. Yeah. There's not a whole lot of dust around here. I just think it's pretty hot. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Cool. Yeah, all that hose I was telling you about for the oil change, it's right here. It's got a little oh. hose clamp attached to it. Okay. That bolt, the screw comes out. That hose goes right, you know, there's right. a little quarter yeah, turn valve right down, there. Yeah. Yep. Just let, you know, obviously start it up and let it run for about 15 sure. minutes. Get it nice and hot. Um, this is where you check the oil. This is where you add it. Okay. How much puts it all, like a quart and a half, two quarts? Uh, it says in the manual, this, I believe, yeah, it's probably just, it's probably like a quart. And like a lot more, a little yeah, more. I know the, the 14s and the 20s, I was real, su real surprised. They don't even take two. You know, yeah. It's like just under two. Hmm. The uh, little key I'm going to give you is a little quarter turn latch. Right. And sometimes this wants to not, you can kind of see where this pin wants to hit here. For whatever oh. reason, this door is kind of, so if that if that happens, you push over. Just slightly, yep. And then you can see it goes down all the way. Gotcha. And when you latch it, it'll it'll hold it down tight. Okay. I think it'll settle in place. 